everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making chair socks, and we're going to start that video in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making chair socks. You are going to need a 4.5 millimeter, oh, can you see it? 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, a darning needle or a yarn needle, measuring ta tape, and some scrap yarn. This is four ply worsted weight, medium weight yarn. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start by crossing our yarn. A lot of people start with a slip knot. I have never crocheted with slip knot, so this is how I do it. If you want a slip knot, go right ahead. So we're going to chain two. Okay, now we're going to go into that very first chain and wrap our tail around. We're going to do six single crochets. So you go into the center or into that first chain. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the two loops. That's a single crochet. Go into that same stitch, pull through, yarn over, through the two loops. Go into the same space or the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, through two loops. We're at three. We want to do six. Four. Five. And we are going to slip stitch into that very first stitch. We're going to chain up one. Okay. We're going to pull that tail that we brought around with us and it should cinch up, cinch up that middle circle. So now we're doing two single crochets in each stitch. So into the stitch, pull through, Yarn over through two loops, and we're going to do another one in that same stitch. So we're at two. We're going to end up with 12 at the end of this round. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So it looks like we have another stitch here, but that was our join. We're going to skip that. We're going into that first stitch, slip stitch, chain up one. Now for this round, we're going to end up with 18, okay? So you're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. One, two, and then in the next stitch, we're just going to put one single crochet. Okay, so we're working in multiples of three. So that was three. Four and five go in the same stitch. Four, five, and six goes on its own. Seven, eight, and nine goes on its own. Ten, eleven, and twelve goes on its own. 13, 14, and 15 goes on its own. 16, 17, 18 goes on its own. Then we have where we join. So we're going into that first stitch to do a slip stitch. We're going to chain up one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our little edge so that our crocheted chair sock or chair boot or furniture boot or whatever you want to call it sits flat. So instead of going through the whole stitch like we normally do, which would be this, let me zoom in, that, we are instead just taking up that back loop, okay? 
and we're doing a single crochet. We're going to do this all the way around. So you'll end up with 18 stitches. We are no longer increasing. By the way, this chair sock is my regular size chair sock. We, I also make skinny chair socks. There's a video for that in the description. And uh, I make extra long chair socks where there's a video for that in the description. I also make reinforced chair socks. There's a link for that in the description. <laughs> Do you notice that I make a lot of chair socks? Okay, so we're just doing this all the way around into that back loop only. And then we're going to start working in spirals. So here, let me show you what I mean. Okay, whoops. So here we go. That was eight. No, this was 18. Okay. So normally we would slip stitch, we would skip that join stitch right there and we would go into the next stitch and slip stitch. But now we're going to start working in spirals. So instead of doing a slip stitch, we're just going to do another single crochet and we're going to start going around and around. Now that row we just finished, it made this little ridge. See this ridge? So that helps the chair sock sit flat. Okay, so you're just going to go round and round and round until it measures two inches long sitting flat. So sitting like this and then you would measure. So I measure from the ridge, okay? So two inches long, meet me back. Okay, so I'm at my two inches. So what you do now is you make a big loop, cut your yarn, and we're just going to finish this by slip stitching into the next stitch and pull your yarn through, pull tight. Okay, now we're gonna turn our work. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. There we go. We're gonna turn our work. We're gonna use our needle, our yarn needle or darning needle or whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna simply go through our stitches only for the one side. So I have my fingers in here, so I'm making sure I'm not going through, okay? And we're just gonna pull our tail. Now you don't, see how I'm kind of distorting the stitches? I don't wanna do that. So I pull it back so it doesn't do that. And then I go a little bit back from where I was coming out and I go again. This just reinforces that um, thread. I'm going all the way to my middle and again I'm keeping my finger so I don't accidentally go through to the front and I'm making sure I don't distort my stitches. Now that we're to the end I take off my needle, tie a knot and again don't distort your stitches check and make sure I haven't distorted my stitches. I'll put another knot just for good luck then I take my threads, I leave a little bit, and there you go, guys. There is your chair sock. Isn't it perfect? I love them. I've made so many of these. I've had made thousands of these. Feel free to make them and sell them on your site because I'm tired of making them. I want you to. <laughs> um, okay, so in the description, there is going to be a link to my um, Etsy store. There will be a link to the written pattern for this. There will be a link to my crochet Facebook group. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so anything. Anyway, basically, check out the description. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Bye now.